hi guys welcome back to my channel on today's video we're gonna be doing my faves because as you guys all know I'm like half a vegan I guess I'll say it that way or trying vegan things um, as I told you guys in my last video I decided not to go all the way vegan just to change as much as possible so I'm gonna share with you the things that I have been loving food wise from my vegan journey so if you want to see that stick around <laughs> This Bolt House Farms Green Goddess Smoothie. It is so <laughs> freaking good, okay? This one is the one that is uh, more fruity than vegetable but it does have some vegetables. Well, a couple of... Is this a vegetable? Let's just say this is the fruity one. The one that, you know, I sucked down and it tasted good. This one has pineapples, and I'm assuming it's green apples because it has a green apple on the thing. So green apple, pineapples, mangoes, banana, and kiwi. Oh my god. This is bomb. I've been heavily rocking with this smoothie right here. Now when it comes to the more like bitter real. green juice nasty but kind of good because you need to drink it because you're trying to get tight and get it right and uh you know flex that leg up for your man and uh you know get all that popping get all this off and get all that popping this is the one you drank put on your little waist trainer and same company bull house farm but this is the daily greens this is the one that has veggies in it in it honey uh Spinach, kale, and romaine, okay? It has an apple, cucumber, celery, kiwi, sweeten it up, squeeze of lemon, and uh, kale, spinach, and romaine. This is the one, honey. I had one of these already today. No, I have to be ready for her, honey, because she is not for play play. Mm -mm. And also, along with drinks, I don't know if th this is not vegan. I don't think but I've been drinking it it's nothing in here that I consider you know what's considered to be going against it it's just really good and you know it's country time which my boo <laughs> um, if you're watching this hey babe uh, <laughs> my boo got me hooked on this this is the uh, country time half and half half lemonade half iced tea drink so it's basically like a mix and you just pour some water in it and get a spop and it is so good I've been drinking so much of this with like lemons or I even I have this lemon juice which we'll get to this later this lemon juice uh, if I don't actually have fresh lemons as pour a little bit of that in there and honey and it's like you're sitting on the porch in the country honey okay next so while we're on the subject of drinks and while we have our lemon juice out I'm gonna show you what I actually most times use this for um, is to put into my detox water so basically I have a jug of water like this this is about 16 ounces I believe um, and I just I have a water machine so I clean these out I have two of them I, I clean them out and then I like buy new ones and switch them out so I clean them out and I put my filtered good mm, water in there and then I take some apple cider vinegar and put about two catfuls inside the water and then a catful of this shake it on up I think I showed you guys me doing this in my uh, cook with me clean with me video shake it on up and I drink that and that's like a little detox and then now um, I have discovered 
these little things in the store which is um a vermont village this one is ginger and honey apple cider vinegar so this is like what i'm already doing with the water but you could take this one like a straight uh shot which i did and honey let me tell you i don't know if i'm gonna like be a drinker after this because i like to drink alcohol is my friend okay like you know i've been being good because i'm still on paper but like when i took a shot of this it made me question you know how good my drinking game is gonna be when i come on paper because i took a shot of this it went down the throat burned like whiskey and then i proceeded to just hawk it all up so um i did have to go to doing the second method which is to add um a shot to water but because i have 16 ounces i have to add two shots but i've kind of been cheating and adding like a shot and a half because this is a hella strong but yeah like shots on the go uh highly recommend it it's a prebiotic and like it says daily elixir gut fixer shrub mixer it will make you drop some pounds if you do it consistently so yeah the other one. thing that i've been loving for as drinks like when i um you know want to do like a real meal replacement where i don't want to eat like i'm just an eight and eight and eight and plus my man is a whole chef he can cook his ass off so he likes to you know make a lot of food but he cooks technically like i used to cook i don't cook like that no more <laughs> but like he cooks like he cooking for an army so he tries to feed me like a whole ass man which is what I tell him all the time. He makes me like big plates of food. So, after I get done with one of those kind of situations and it's like detoxing and, you know, not really eating much for a couple of days to get rid of all that fat that he has put in my body. Um, <laughs> which we ain't mad at because, you know, she getting a little thick, thick back there. But, um, yeah, when I'm on one of those days that I'm just like, no, I've been eating to the most this all this country good cooking and um no i need to detox or i just need to do a meal replacement for like a couple of days i will do the slim fast advanced nutrition strawberries and cream shakes they are so good because like i don't know it basically to me just tastes like strawberry milk which i used to hate strawberry milk when i was a kid but this is actually fire like if you're going to and this is the dairy free because i got um dairy free because or lactose free sorry lactose free and gluten free which i got because i'm lactose intolerant even though i do sneak milk every now and then and then i have to make sure i'm home we all know why so yeah i got that for this reason but if you're really like gonna get into the slim fast i suggest you get different flavors because I don't do them that often so I'm cool with just having like one flavor or maybe two flavors but like if this is something that you're going to be doing like a slim fast lifestyle get different flavors because you're you taste bugs you're going to get tired moving on we're going to talk about my favorite thing in the world sweets ice cream dairy free ice cream now this I got hip to because of my mommy thanks mommy I do not like chocolate anybody that really knows me knows I hate chocolate I only eat chocolate like in certain moods if I'm depressed or like certain times when a bitch with the red boots is here aka my period certain times I will crave chocolate like a mad person other than that I don't want it I don't need it in my life and the chocolates over here and I'm over here living my life my mom you know was having a birthday party for my brother because my birth my brother's birthday was earlier this month she was like you know that's when i was hella just not made a decision whether i was gonna be fully vegan or not so she was like in that time frame like okay she's going vegan let me you know consider what she can and cannot eat so she she got this ice cream from me because it was dairy free and basically vegan so <laughs> This is the Cool House Awesome Dessert Dairy Free Chocolate Sandwich Cookie Crumb. Chocolate Cookie Crumb and Chocolate Cookie Swirl Frozen Dessert. Let me show you what this looks like. Well, it's been in my face. This is so good. 
I am not going to eat this right now because I drank my water today, did a little detox, and I actually like, you know, drank a smoothie, the nasty green smoothie like I told you earlier when I had it. So I'm not going to do this as bad as I want to do this, like Boo Thing even likes this. Um, it's just, it's good. I, it's good. It's good. It's not yeah. along them same lines. The ice cream that I was already obsessed with. Um, well, actually it's not ice cream, it's sorbet. And so it was all I was eating at first. When I first started transitioning. And then I just got addicted to it. And I had to stop myself. Before, you know, all this dieting beef or not. Um, is this Talenti Dairy Free Sorbetto? Roman Raspberry Sorbet. Oh. Oh, it makes you feel spiritual, baby. Oh, my God. Okay. That's all I have to say about this. I buy, try to buy, like, cases of this. But I have stopped because I need to pace myself. But then every now and again, because I've been pacing myself, Boo Thang will uh, come in here with it because he knows. He knows that I love it. And like sometimes it'd be sold out at our neighborhood store. So like when he finds this or like the mango one or like any other flavors that he thinks I'm gonna like, he brings it home. But like this right here. I have no words. I just have no words. Moving on. Okay, so now we're gonna do dressings. Um, I have bought a avocado ranch dressing. I did not like it. I hated it. I made a whole video, like, I believe on my Instagram and my Facebook when I was trying it, when I was doing my test runs. I have found the two that are stickers. Avocado ranch out. This one right here, Tessie Mays, organic creamy ranch dressing, though. We, with her, we heavily messes with her. She's good. She tastes just like ranch. She's creamy. I've been living a salad life around here most of the time. But my man is not feeding me like a whole army. <laughs> um, yes, it's a lifestyle. It's a way of life. And that's what we do around here. He even likes this. But, you know, like I said, that man likes his meat and he likes his stuff. So he, I do have regular ranch in there. Along them same lines, Tessie Mays. Um, I've been loving this and I actually need to go get some more because as you guys can see it's almost empty this Tessie Mays organic lemon garlic dressing and marinade this I just been eating on everything it's just good it's good it's good what can I say it's good all right and lastly for food is sandwich things I have been obsessed with these Tofurky plant-based deli slices, hickory smoked. I, you cannot tell that this is not turkey. I don't care what you say. Prove me wrong. Fight me. Cause um, like just square up. Because this is turkey. It's turkey. It's turkey. <laughs> it's good. Try it. Cop that. Get that. Get it. Now, as far as the queso, the cheese, the shades, because that's what I was nervous about mostly when I started switching things out of my diet and especially switching dairy out of my diet, which even like I told you guys that I'm not fully vegan and probably never will be. I don't really plan to go back to regular cheese too much. Like, there's sometimes when, you know, Boo Thing will cook something because he's eating regular cheese and he puts regular cheese in it that's fine but like as far as me making things for myself mm -mm. I don't think I'm ever switching back um I actually wanted to show you guys a, another cheese besides this sliced sandwich cheese which is the chow the chow cheese chow chow cheese is the business like it to me tastes like like string cheese, like the the moss. I guess that's mozzarella cheese. That's like on string cheese. It tastes like that. You can't tell me nothing. You put this and you put that tofurkey on us on some bread on some on this bread right here. This artisan or artisano bakery bread, golden wheat, golden uh white. Put that on this bread with your the uh, mayonnaise of your choice round here. We're using V 
feelings. Love this stuff. And that says a lot for me because I don't even like mayonnaise. Like, I didn't like mayonnaise in general before the journey. This stuff right here changed my mind on that. It's hella good. It tastes actually better to me than any mayonnaise I've ever had. Even like Miracle Whip, whatever. I didn't never like Miracle Whip because I don't like the sugar in there. But like, this changed my opinion completely on mayonnaise. I am slathering this on this artisanal bread with that tofurkey and that cho cheese, baby. And calling it a day. Okay. I'm saying line of cheese. There's another cheese. I didn't have the packaging, but I believe it's called Follow Your Heart Shredded Cheese. For shredded cheese, like for tacos and like, you know, to put in your little quesadillas and uh, shred on top of salad or whatever. Baby, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's all you need in your life. That's it. It's good. It tastes like regular cheese. Like, you can't tell me nothing. Square up. Because you can't tell me nothing. And other than that, uh, just been water, baby. Just drink water. Make sure you're getting your intake of water. If you're trying to, like, you know, slim down, make sure you're drinking your, you know, your 16 ounces or however many ounces that is for your body, you know, on an individual basis, you have to look that up. But that's what I've been doing. That's what I've been rocking with. And that's why when, um, what I've been doing help me slim it on down, honey. And I'm by no means, uh, near my goal, uh, weight, but I am liking the results. Like I said, uh, the, you know, the dieting plus boo thing. Mm, giving me country food and making her a little thick thick in the back that ain't never hurt nobody so uh and i'm sure he liking it too but um yeah like i'm happy i'm happy where i am right now and the progress that i'm making but i'm not at my goal yet so yeah that is all the things that i've been rocking with lately um i, I knew this video wasn't gonna be super long but yeah if you guys want to try any of these things and you try them, uh, tell me what you think in the comments. Leave that down below if you try them. Um, like this video, honey, if you like this video. And subscribe. 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 I feel like, you know, you're not really supposed to stay down in videos. But I am because I'm trying to get these subscriptions, boo. But, um... <laughs> Thank you guys for watching me for um, the new subscribers. Thank you for rocking with me to you OGs and almost definitely see you in my next one. Bye.